So in this video, I'm going to show you how I created a simple Node.js AI web app and I deployed it on Coolify absolutely for free. I did not use any paid tools for building this. I just used Cloud AI to generate both the front end and the back end code and I used ChatGPT for debugging and planning right, and prompt creation. I planned, built and deployed the entire app using these free tools and most importantly directly in the browser. Now the focus of this video is not just about like my own app that I created but it is more about how you can deploy a simple Node.js web app on Coolify like if you are looking for any step by step guide. Even if you are a beginner or not a developer then also this video is going to happen. Help you. I will show you what things you need ready before deploying or how to set up the environment variables, how to add persistent storage and connect your database, how to configure your repository and deploy the app and few common issues like you might face and I'm going to tell how you can fix them. So and one more thing right if you have your own product or if you are planning to build one or maybe you have already built your SaaS or AI application now you are thinking about how to market it how to make sales then I will highly suggest you go through this the one that I've created for you right I've created a free reddit marketing playbook and this playbook will guide you step by step on how to market your such product and application completely for free organically with the help of reddit this guide is taken directly from our three-day reddit marketing challenge which is paid challenge so it's not something random tips it is structured practical system that already worked for for us and inside that playbook you will find assessment task and clear expectation clear result oriented stuff so that you can easily understand and you can follow implement and you can get the result so make sure to get your free copy from the link in the description of this video so all right let's get started with this step-by-step -step video guide so this is the simple web app that i built ai blog generator takes a transcript of youtube video or url and convert it to a blog post i know that there are so many tools that are already existing but it's just a testing tool i'm trying to build and see that if i can deploy it on coolify it has literally beautiful front end that is the ui as you can see it's really great and i have designed with the help of cloud ai the front end backend was actually created with the help of cloud ai as you can see here is a project that I have used. I also debug the errors because there are so many errors I found while building this app and I debugged with the help of chat GPT. There are so many codes that we have written with the help of chat GPT. If I go through all these chats then you can see that I need to debug a lot of things here. I need to submit all the files that Claude has generated and I need to debug them. I need to find the errors and I need to fix them. So it almost took like one and two hours to build the entire app and this is my first time let me tell you. This is not that like I've been using for a long time. I've just tried it. I previously used Lovable Bolt but this time I tried that let's see if we can actually build an app absolutely for free with just with the help of chat GPT Claude and deploying it in Coolify. Now why I'm saying it that it is absolutely for free right try, try to understand that I'm using Coolify using a VPS server which I brought from Hostinger and the main goal was to host an agent to deploy an agent and I have deployed an agent and now I can deploy so many resources so this is why I built two web apps right one is simple web app that just submit a form and another is yeah, this AI blog generator that I have deployed and I'm going to explain you every steps how I did it and everything you can see this we have a sign up form here right if I click here then you'll see that there is a sign up form you can just sign up and you can start using right away every data will be saved in the back end like there is a storage for that inside Coolify so everything will be tracked even your login information every credential will be saved everything that you have worked so far will be saved that Coolify database so I'll just enter my name here new email address I need to enter here for the rate indishmarketer.com and any password of six character I can enter now just click on create account now look here so the verification page we need to fix that this is also an error right but it's working I think there is some overlapping issues right we can fix that so now I'll just click on continue login and I need to open my email to verify this right so I'll simply go to my email inbox and as you can see I got one email from my app and I just need to verify it I'll just click on verify and we'll log in to the app so as you can see continue login right so i'll just simply click here and continue login and then i'll just log in here just need to enter the email address right i'll sign in as you can see this is our dashboard i can save the password right so as you can see here we have now let me show you the how this app works so let me explain the how it functions we have two types of functionality here first we have youtube url if you submit here youtube url and then it's going to get the transcript of the video and then it using open a gpt4 model it's going to generate a blog post and here we have you can see that transcript here you can directly paste the transcript of any youtube video and it's going to generate a blog post out of it so let me show you how it looks like initially this youtube video to blog post was working fine but i don't know like what happened in the code right 
while I was debugging some error happened and because of that it is now no more getting any transcription of the video this method is temporarily not working so I'll try with the this method that is transcript method okay so what I will do now here I need to paste full transcript from any video let me tell you again this is not even an MVP this is not even a product it's just a testing okay I'm just testing it out that whether you can really build an app or not using all the strategy now I have tested this and I'm sure that it's going to work in future I may launch my own AI product so now let's let's test it out so I'll just go to YouTube and get one video transcript so here we have one video from Alex Hormozzi so I'll just open it so I will just get the transcript from here so I'll select and copy the transcript from here I'll come back to my app and then I'll simply paste it here and then I will just click on generate blog post so in the meantime it is calling the API and creating the blog post so it will be ready in a moment so let's wait you can see here blog post generated right and now we can edit this one so let's click here on view and edit as you can see here we have blog title meta description is also created SEO keyword is given here article summary is given here then you can have the HTML content as you can see and you can see this is the live preview of the blog post that has been created while building this app I found so many errors which I actually fixed with the help of chat GPT so I basically use chat GPT for debugging and clot for generating the front end and the back end so I would like to also show the initial version of the app right so this is just a testing phase once the testing phase is done I'm going to really build a fully functional web app thinking about that how it can solve the people problem on the internet so now let's show the process of deploying the web app I have also created a complete guide for that on github as you can see this is the guide that I've created so I can also drop that link to the description of this video so that you can go through this guide in case if you don't know anything about Qualify, then I have already created a video about hosting Qualify. what is Qualify? I've explained everything you can find that video in the description of this video and in the end card of this video so you may watch that video to learn what is Qualify, how to install Qualify in your system using hosting or VPS and all other thing I've explained now let's go directly into deploying a web app into our Qualify system so I'm going to deploy the same web app that is AI blog generator so as you can see I'm inside my Qualify dashboard here and here you can see that already three project has been created one is na10 one is a block generator and one is my web app that is simple web app so now i want to deploy another web application just to show you how you can deploy node.js web app or any kind of web app that you want to deploy so this is the same app that i'm going to deploy right now like a block generator so let's do it so for that i'm just going to go to the projects here so inside the projects I'm just going to click on add okay. and now I just need to name this project let's say I can give it any alternative name it can be like YouTube to blog it and then I'll just click on continue okay. so now I need to go to the production okay. now I need to add resources so I just click on add resources okay. so now we can get started with git base public repository then private repository and private repository with deploy key right? but i'm going to go with public repository here i'm just going to click the end we need now the link to the github repository which one we want to deploy so make sure that you already have a github repository where you have your enter application except the environment where as you can see i have the enter node.js application here i just created the code with cloud ai and debugged with chat gpt then i uploaded the you know files into git by creating a new repository and this repository is ready now to get deployed okay so if you go through this readme file you are going to get all the information how to execute this but even if you're going to follow the guide that i've given you previously that is qualify node.js web application deploying guide you can also get all the info now once you have uploaded all the files to github and created a repository right then you just need to get the link to the public repository. make sure that it is public for example you can see here it is public here so just i'll just get the link to this repository from here after copying the repository link i'll come back to qualify and then i'll simply paste it here okay then i'll click here on check repository now you can see that we have here branch then build pack base directory then port right is it, is it a static website make sure that it is unchecked from here build pack very important you can go with nix pack you will get the enter instruction that which one you should use chat gpt or cloud going to tell you which one you should go with i mean the which exact build pack you should select so if your application is more of, more of automated instruction then go with nix pack if there is a lot of manual stuff involved then you should go with docker file also one thing if it automatically generate docker file let's say cloud has generated docker file then you can go with the 
this do docker file build pack so i have to go the docker file because that i have previously tested with nix pack and the app was not deploying so for that reason i have to go with the docker file so i've selected that now uh, now i just need to click here on continue okay. and we'll come to the most important part here okay. now you can just name it anything that you want i will just name it youtube to blog uh, we can also generate the domain name right i have already added the wildcard domain as you can see something then dot prototools dot in so you can also add your domain name uh, i have already created a video about that you can just watch the video you can find the link in the description of this video right. so first of all i'll just add here any domain that i want so i'll just name it like ai youtube blog right. uh, after that i'll just click here on save okay next what do you need to do uh, make sure that base repository is this one that is slash and nothing else no text nothing should be there right. and you'll come to the environment variables now and you can add menu one by one you can just name the node here and then paste the value but i would recommend you should go with developer view instead of manual view because you can paste everything all together i if i go to the github here if i scroll down to the readme file then you would see that these are the required variables we need okay. so i will just copy this one and then i will just come to my qualify and then i'll simply paste it here now what we need here will remove all this hash and all because these are not important at all right and now what we need here first of all we need is jwt secret key you can generate with the help of chat gbt or you can just kick, put any random key if you want then you also need open ai api key here right open ai model that is already written or you can choose any model that you want to use then smtp host that is bravo smtp we need a uh, bravo smtp user then Brebo SMTP password directly mail from you need to write here. Right. Okay, first let's generate the JW secret. Okay. So I'm just going to tell ChatGPT, can you generate a JW secret? So I have just opened a new chat inside ChatGPT. So I just tell ChatGPT to generate a random 32 character JW secret key. And then I'll just hit enter. Look here, I have 32 character JW secret key, and I'm just going to copy this one. And then I'm just going to paste it here. Next, we need OpenAI secret key. So for OpenAI secret key, we just need to go to openai.com. Okay. Simply go to OpenAI playground. OpenAI, it's taking time to load. Mean, meanwhile, we can go to Brabo. So here, you just need to create a Brabo account and then you just need to go to the SMTP setting. Okay. Once you create a Brabo account, right, you'll see this dashboard, something like this. And from there, you just need to go here to your profile on the top right corner. And from there, you just need to go to settings. After going to the settings, you just need to go to SMTP and API. If you don't have auto generated SMTP server and like password and login ID, then you may need to generate them. But most often you'll find they're automatically generated. Okay. So here you can see this is the SMTP server. It is already mentioned there. Like inside Qualify, you'll see that it is also already there. SMTP relay dot brabo dot com. Then port is also there and uh, login id you just need to paste that is your user id inside qualify then pass so let's do it so i will just copy this user id and then i'll go here to qualify and then you can see here smtp user i'm just going to paste it here right and then for the password key yeah, i'm going to paste it later because i want don't want to show to public right what is my password now i need to put the mail from so if you go here again bravo then you will see that what is your mail from right so you can go to the senders and domain and you can see here we have the sender so you also need to verify your domain id here right? and it will automatically generate one sender email so it this email will not have an inbox no one can reply to this email this is just for verification that we are going to use for our app so i'm just going to copy this and this email id and you can see the name is tester so i can simply copy the entire thing from here after that i'm just going to here and i'm going to replace this one with this as you can see i have replaced this now we just need our open api key here right that's the final thing that we need and you can see open is not loading here left so i need to use my previous key right what i will do now i'll just simply save this so i'll just click on save all environment variables as you can see here I'll just save it and I'll just go to the normal view again. Now, so let's say you want to update the open API key. You just need to unlock this, right? 
you only need to paste your open api key here right that and you'll just click here on update after you paste your open api key i want to tell you something here that you also need this session cookie name because if you are deploying multiple web apps on qualify you need to have a session cookie name and you can just add any numbers or any characters to give the session id now once you've set up the environment variables right you need to go to the persistent storage first of all you'll see what is your database name what is so unlock here and as you can see this is the, the database name i have written here database that is what cloud ai has generated right so you simply copy this one what and after copying it you will just simply come to persistent storage now once you are on persistent storage here you need to create in storage here then here you need to give the volume name so volume name you will paste the one you copied just now and you need to put here the destination path right okay slash data or root in your case whatever it can be and then what you need to do you just need to click here on add and you can keep the remaining empty okay just click here on add and as you can see persistent storage is added here that is destination path is here and you can see it is given some random volume name you can just keep it whatever it is okay so once once all once everything is done right we need to deploy the app so i'll make sure again that everything is all right okay so i will go back to the general here now after coming to the general settings here right i will make sure that here we have our proper domain name and base the directory is remain the same okay now we can deploy our app right it's time to deploy it and it's going to work right? just simply click here on deploy okay if there is any error then it show us definitely Deployment is in progress. It's going to deploy now. And you can see all the debug logs. If there is any error that you can just have to paste this uh, debug logs to chat GPT and chat GPT going to fix them. So as you can see, now it is deployed. So we can now open this. But before you open this, make sure that it should be shown here running. You can see it's green. If it is green, then only you can go to the link. Now, so I'll just click here on the links and then I'll open it. And you can see that our app is deployed, right? You can simply log in here. So let's try if it is working okay so i'll just click a start free and then i'll just simply enter my name and i'll just enter any random email id right i have also entered a random password so i'll just click on create account so you can see that i'm inside my email inbox and you can see we have received the email so i just copy this link and i'll go to the browser and i'm just going to paste it here i'll just continue here and then we'll log in again let's log in right so you can see we have entered the dashboard here now i think it will going to work right because this is the same app that we have deployed previously right so that's it if any error you found simply go to the debug logs here simply copy all this thing right and then you'll simply go to chat gpt and then you're just going to paste it and chat gpt going to fix that for you chat gpt going to give you instruction like what you need to do in the next step so that's all about this video i hope you find this full i'm going to create a playlist for qualify if Something else I come up with in the next few days. I'm going to also create a video around that. That's all about Qualify, right? If you have any question, you can drop in the comment section. Or if you want me to help you deploying your web app, definitely you can reach out. I'll be always be there, right? So that's all for this video.